Crazy shit right there. Put my shades back on. Hey, from put my shades back on. I'm gonna head out uh, to the upstairs outside. I'm using my new Verizon jetpack and hopefully it doesn't shut itself off. So far so good. Looks like we're getting solid connection. Oh, I gotta go back and take a fucking escalator. Yeah, it's a giant mall right by the World Trade Center where, where the World Trade Center used to be. It's now called the One World Trade Center. We're gonna look at that. I did IRL over here before, but it's always good to pay your respects. Walk up the escalator like an asshole. There's some Walgreens over there. Oh, I do need to re-up on my pods. Yo, B. Let me see if Walgreens sells uh, blue pods real quick. Or else we have to go find another place. Hopefully we don't disconnect down here. Uh, but Wi-Fi, I don't know, it seems strong. Just go check real quick in here. No smoking products, looks like just smoking cessation products. Gonna have to hit up a... Uh, gonna have to hit up a bodega of some sort. This is not where I wanted to exit, but we'll figure it out. Greens weed one day. Gay pride, homies. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's such a nice day, huh? Remember love. Remember love, guys? You seem to forget. Yeah, look at this. This is really a crazy structure they built here. Some nice artwork. Let's go head over to the memorial, Ground Zero. Pay our respects to the thousands of innocent people that died 18 years ago almost. High five. It's at One Life Man Gelato Truck. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we'll find one of those. All right, so the One World Trade Center is right in front of me. All the way up there. I've never been in there. I was in the original World Trade Center when I was a little, a young lad. Uh, at the top floor, that shit was crazy. But we're about to go to the location where that used to be before bunch of fucking crazy nut jobs crashed a bunch of planes into them. Then they had the, the um, 
the museum over here, which takes you down to like, it's really fucked up. I went in, <laughs> it made me cry. Like it was the saddest, like most grim, upsetting museum I've ever been to, but also a nice experience. All right, here's tower, tower one, there's tower two. I don't know, one of the towers fell over here in this hole. Go pay our respects to the many men and women who were taken from us on that fateful day. fucking tower there and now it's just a hole in the ground with water and a bunch of names written on the sides there should be a second one is there a second one or maybe I don't, I don't remember well I know there was two towers but I don't know if they made a second like hole in the, in the ground for the other one or maybe they were both to each other. Maybe that's just the one hole for both of them that were right next to each other. So there's a police officer with a shotgun behind me. So that's that's good. Could say, oh yeah, here we go. Here's the other tower. It's about to say, what am I going crazy over here? Yeah, it's scary shit. Life is good. George Burst's first speech went on a racist rant and got away. Yeah, it's, that's who knows what the fuck happened <coughs> behind the scenes. All I know is. These goddamn towers collapsed and many people died for no good reason. Yeah, here's the other town. Let me get to a place where there's not as many people. Names here. God rest their souls. And there's the empty pit of destruction. God damn, what a bummer. Alright, so. I want to head west, I think. <laughs> I'm notorious to get this wrong, but I'm trying to head west right now over to uh, Rockefeller Park. And I believe the, if the One World, let's get one more shot of the One World Trade Center, because that thing is just a really massive. monstrosity and beauty. I gotta go up there someday. That'll be interesting. But you gotta pay and shit. It's a whole deal. I had to pay... Oh no, the, the Memorial Museum, you, I went on a... Because it was like the week anniversary last year of 9-11, so they had like free tickets if you get there at a certain time or whatever, so I went with some some friends and cried my eyes out as I, yeah, it's very sad, it's very sad, but it's a great museum if you're interested into that and you want to come and you're not emotionally susceptible to weeping in public, then I highly recommend it. Now we're going to cross Liberty Street over here. Crossing Liberty Street over to the high end, the high end, the high scale uh, uh, places where they sell things. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Is the horse status statue still there? 
I heard they honor the 12 soldiers that went to middle. Oh, I'm not sure. Pinecone building, what you talking about? Wait, how do I cross this? Oh, I gotta cross on this. I'm not sure what pinecone... Oh, the vessel? Is that what you're talking about? The one that I tried to go to, but couldn't get in because you need advance tickets? That one I'm definitely want. Yeah, thanks to and the shooters. Hunter S. Thompson style. Um, yeah, to get to the vessel, you need it. I looked online, like, dude, you have to get them in. If they're free, but you have to get them in advance, like, hardcore advance. It takes a mad long. So I have to, like, one set, I have to keep checking to see when there's an opening on a Saturday or a Sunday, or even a Friday. Then I'll be able to get on the vessel and stream it. Hopefully they let, I mean, I'm sure they let you bring cameras and shit up there. It's fucking, it's a sight to see. Star seed yourself? building I couldn't get into. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you were, we're talking about the same thing. And I think I'm looking to like sit down by the water and have a nice meal. Because I haven't really eaten much. But I think there's like an entrance to this shopping center over here. Just like mad upper scale stuff. So I'm gonna see if I can get through there. Up here, still get a nice view of the one world. Don't see, oh yeah, I think up ahead. I think we're good. But this blue cartridge is drying up. I didn't realize I didn't take a full one on my way out. I got cigarettes, but I'd rather have a full blue cartridge. So I'm gonna have to find one of those too. Yeah, here we go. I know where we're going. I might be dropping like $30, $40 on a meal right now. As long as they let me sit with the live stream. I have to ask him first. I don't want to get kicked out while I'm fucking trying to eat a meal. But there's like, they have like a restaurant that's like outdoor seating right next to the water. It's, it should be fine. So like I'm going inside and filming everyone. Brookfield Place, that's what it's called, this, this little shopping center here. It's got some interesting artwork. Interesting architectural design. Hi, <laughs> restaurant light up a huge chunk. Now I'm gonna probably hit my vape. Oh, there's a Gucci store. Gucci bang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, right up ahead, we got Bottega Veneta. We got Gucci gang all around, here we go. Hermes over there, here's Gucci. Drop, drop fucking $50,000 in here. What do you say, huh? Look at that shit. And it leads out by the water over here. Go so credit card. I mean, I got a limit. I could, I could do something stupid and go into heavy credit card debt, but I'd rather not. It is a nice uh, little shopping center here. They got palm trees in the middle. 
And then, yeah, there's some outdoor seating right out here. By the Hudson River. Only three fifty dollars for a Gucci belt. That's it. Alright, let's see what the deal is over here. Let's see what the food deal is. Customers. During periods of extreme winds, we ask that the umbrellas remain closed for your safety. Alright, people are sitting down, but like, I don't think they're getting served food. There's some kind of concert going on. Oh, there's a bar. I'm not sure what's going on here, actually. They're broadcasting something. This is some kind of like sailing event? I have no idea. A thousand for the Hermes? Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Here's a restaurant. Yeah, they're broadcasting some kind of sailing event. Right, so there's the restaurant I'm talking about. First, let's get a nice view of... There's some kind of sailing event going on out here in the river. Let's see what, let's see what we can see. Yeah, there's some kind of sailing race happening right here. And they're broadcasting it on that little area. Walk down here like like it's nothing. I don't know if I'm allowed down here. I think I can. Mad nice views. I like to have a boat over here. It's New Jersey over there. What a shithole that place is, huh? Hey, ships. You made it to YouTube. Might as well. Might as well get this angle in. Australia's racing, we got USA, we got the UK, Japan. There's some crazy sail race going on. I don't know what the fuck. Way over there. Went and laugh at the Jersey Boys, yes. All right, let's see if I can sit down at this restaurant with this camera or gimbal, smartphone setup. It's probably gonna be at least $20 an entree, but I'm just gonna say fuck it. Okay, walk past the security guard with nothing to say. Oh, you know what? No, I need a cigarette first because I haven't gotten some proper nicotine. So this restaurant behind me. Let me see, uh, try to get away from most people. Oh, there's a child. Fuck. All right, we'll just sit in the middle. Fuck it. Give me shit. Stand by. Got my backpack full of goodies. Definitely gonna want to take a hit of this before I eat. Is it lagging? <coughs> it says YouTube is not really receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Let me know if there's any problems. You know, let's take it off battery save mode. Just in case. Haha, uh... <laughs> you know, B. That was my dinner. That was my lunch. 
No, I had some chips and garlic. No. In addition. First time YouTube told me it was lagging this whole time. So the jet the Verizon jetpack seems to be working out pretty nice. Quality okay. I'm in a fucking park. I really hope they let me uh, get food with this gimbal on the table. They might say, no filming. A little laggy, yeah. YouTube, I mean, Streamlabs gave me an alert that it was getting a little laggy. It's just probably the spot I'm in. Once I get back over there, it should be fine. The stroll, the, the stroll. The stream chat isn't automatically scrolling for some reason. I have to keep checking it. But the notification should be working again, I think. Just had to re. Streamlabs is doing like a re set setup thing, and I never did. Restaurant reviewer. I don't. That's not going to change their policy of accepting vlog, uh, video, taking video. Or I'd be like, yeah, I'm a journalist. I have a badge. I am reviewing this restaurant and uh, filming. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ask. Um, is, is it okay if I live stream myself eating? I'm not gonna say I'm filming. I'm just gonna say live stream. Is it okay if I live stream myself eating? And the sunset should be happening. Uh, I don't know. Couple hours. What time? I don't know what time it is. Fifth, oh, 5:32. Still got another like two, two and a half hours before that happens. So we can walk down to Battery Park, see the Statue of Liberty across the way. Just watch that sunset. But hopefully, if I get into this restaurant. Get a nice cocktail. <laughs> Some kind of mildly expensive. Not like I'm not gonna get like a filet mignon. I'm just kind of try to get like the cheapest thing that I want to eat. Which I'm guessing is gonna be at least twenty dollars. Not including the cocktail, which is gonna be at least ten dollars. So we're spending forty dollars right now. Gordon Ramsay said. I'd love a dirty water dog too, but I don't have any cash. And I, I want the experience of this uh, waterside shit. I wish it wasn't so windy. If they, uh, if they, if they turn me away, then I'll go get a dirty water dog. But I want I want a dining experience. I want a nice dining experience. Andy Milanakis does it all the time on his streams, so 
should be fine. Classic Wagyu burger. Oh yeah, that would be nice, but it's gonna run. It's gonna be a little. Damn this wind. All right. Let's get this. Let's let's see what's going. Let's see what's going. dispose of the cigarette butt by rolling out the cherry and just throwing out the filter. Alright, let's see where the hostess... There might be a wait. I don't know. I'm just one person, so it can't be that bad. It's kind of loud, though. I can never go there with an IRL stream. <laughs> the connection is just too bad. I don't know what the fuck's going, what's going on over there, but Verizon signal is not getting in. this cool beer garden, but I don't know how far it is from here. There's gotta be something by Battery Park, right? Oh, here's Chase. I can get cash for a dirty water dog. Maybe I'll just get cash and get a dirty water dog for now. And then sit down for a cocktail at, like, another place. Chase hot dog stand right next to each other. Just what I needed. Hot dogs, how much are they? Three dollars? Two dollars? It's probably three dollars. If it's four dollars, I'm gonna verbally say something. Looks like the connection's back over here, that's good. Chase Bank, Chase Bank Doesn't charge me fees for using their ATMs Why is this locked? Oh, I gotta put my fucking card in. Why don't these people just let me in? They don't trust me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, no, I'm the only one in. Inside the bank. Insert card. Enter pin. Hey Raven, what's up? Ask for a Jersey Ripper. Uh, quick cash $20, that's exactly what I want. Yeah, quick cash $20. Give it to me. And he said, no receipt. Let's not waste any paper or digital information. Retrieve card. Take cash. Alright. $20 bills. Now let's get that hot dog.
dog shit here. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this my pin. Oh, it didn't reflect you, the pin. Either way, you'd still need to have seen the card numbers. And even then, you'd still have to, like, print out a separate card. You guys, professional criminals over here? Either way, you didn't get enough information. What's going on, man? Fucking dollars, just as I feared. Motherfuckers, four dollars. I can buy a whole package of hot dogs. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm just gonna sketchily sit down and before this thing gets. Oh, there's benches in the there. Still nobody around here. Here's some interesting artwork. Not sure what that's supposed to be, but okay. No, oh, these they, they fucking a uh, what's the what's the phrase for it? Forget. Take advantage of people being hungry on the street. Take advantage of a dire situation. Raise the pr money. They get price gouge. They gouging you out here. So that's the boat race still happening. standards on the street. Another copyright strike. Oh man. Oh, I think there's someone smoking a joint in front of me. a female lighting up a joint at a table. to ask for a puck for a hit but I didn't want to be creepy she was all by herself five dollars oh shit I ate a bun yes buns are included look at this craziness
Look at this madness. I did not know this was happening, but I guess I picked the right day to come here. Can they hold off? What, where is the race happening? I can't fucking see. Oh, it's like... Look out, close that ass, Stand nearly hitting the U.S. Mark. Big splash down from the Japanese. The USA holding the lead. Let's go, like, huh? No victim, no crime. It's up six kicks. Aussie announcer, yeah. Yeah, there's a hardcore boat race going on right now. You can see the Statue of Liberty there in the back. Exciting things are happening. Just such a shame. Probably because of all this cell phone usage. I don't know. We got a Japan flag up here. Oh, there's Japan right there. Tells me when it's low on bandwidth. But. Oh, there's the Aussies. Oh, they got the Rolex on there. So, okay. USA's up there. Right, I think we're good with the, the connection so far. Oh, here's Great Britain. Stand. High rollers over here. That's what you gotta deal with at IRL. Sometimes you just drop connection. Unless you have like, I know Andy Milanakis has like four high end unlimited data Verizon routers all connected into one fucking connection so he like gets the best reception everywhere. But. It's a goal for a future time. There's the police keeping the peace, keeping the peace. I like it. We 
and get a better view of the statue over here. fucking views, huh? Rip? No. It says it's fine. Don't say rip. I'm trying to get a better view of the statue. Statue. Here's the statue. It's far off in the distance, but I guess the race is still going on, clearly. I don't read any Russian or Cyrillic languages, so sorry about that. Might as well hold it on this angle, and my arm's getting tired anyway. Better view, anyway. Walking along the water for a bit, it's nice. Gimbal's holding strong. Not too wobbly, I hope. Nice helicopter. There it is. It's doing something. 